My friends, yesterday the gospel invited us to stop and to look and listen. To stop from a busy life and to listen to the word of God. And how we can listen to the word of God by being prayerful and contemplative. And in today's gospel, Jesus is teaching us how to pray. What is a prayer? A prayer is a dialogue or a relationship between God and me. And the Lord's Prayer is precisely is all about relationships, having a correct relationship with God and having a correct relationship with our neighbor. In the Gospels, there are two versions of Lord's Prayer or two forms, the shorter one and the longer one. The shorter version of the Lord's Prayer is found in the Gospel of Luke, which we just heard. And the longer one is found in the Gospel of Matthew. And the shorter one comes in response to the disciples who ask Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. And the longer one, the version, the longer version teaches us how to pray how to live, how to be, and how to love. The shorter versions of the Lord's Prayer is addressed to the people who do not know to pray, basically the Gentiles or the non-Jewish people. And the longer version is addressed to the people who know to pray but have little doubt or need little direction how to pray. Secondly, if you have read or recited the Lord's Prayer carefully, or perhaps if you have meditated on the Lord's Prayer, you will notice there are seven petitions in the Lord's Prayer. The first three petitions are centered on God and God's kingdom, and the remaining four petitions are centered on how to have a correct relationship with our own neighbors. And whenever we recite these seven petitions or recite the Lord's Prayer, we are invited to transform ourselves. We are invited to change ourselves and to seek the divine healing, divine health. So what are these seven petitions? Let, is, let me remind you. The first petition is, Hallowed be your name. The first petition reminds us the first commandment. You shall not have any other God before me. We must praise our God, who is our, the God. The second petition is, your kingdom come. It is always God's kingdom, not my kingdom. And what is God's kingdom? It is a kingdom of love, joy, hope, happiness, forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. Showing empathy to others who are struggling. The third petition your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Always seeking to do God's will, not my will. The fourth petition, give us this day our daily prayer. This petition reminds us that we are dependent on God. We are not independent beings. We are dependent on, on God who sustains us, who gives us our daily bread. The fifth petition is forgive us our sins as we also forgive other sins. We are all love sinners. We all have received forgiveness from God and we are called to do likewise, to forgive others, share that forgiveness with others. The sixth petition is do not bring us to the time of trial. This petition invites us to live joyfully to live a happy Christians. And the last petition, the seventh one, is rescue us from the evil one. This petition invites us to ask God to give us the strength <coughs> to overcome evil. So let us spend some time today and reflect on these seven petitions of our Lord's Prayer. And always, as we reflect and pray, always praise God, glorify God, and ask our Lord to give us the grace. Ask our Lord to nourish you, to heal you, and to give you the strength to overcome evil. 
And as we do this, we'll be able to strive the kingdom of God and to live and, and do His will in this present time. Amen.